Well, uh, I'd just like to say welcome to another Testimony Tuesday. As always, it is an honor and a privilege to have you take the time to watch this video. Uh, it's important. Here, I was telling somebody just a few minutes ago as I was talking with an individual. Here at Shiloh, we, of course, have our Sunday morning services shown live and they're of course they're recorded so you can go back and look at them our wednesday night services are shown live and you can go back and look at them as well and then we do a message monday and here we are tonight with testimony tuesday and uh, our sister lydia figueroa does a thursday video we are trying our best to reach people with a message almost every day of the week. Uh, we're actually in the process of working on trying to get a Friday night, Saturday morning video. Um, so be looking for that. Uh, and, and it's going to be geared more toward youth, but still, I believe the messages, whenever they begin, will bless you, just as I pray that these, uh, mine and uh, myself uh, and Brother Terry and Sister Lydia's videos, please go back and search for those and, and take the time and watch them. God's always got a word for us. God always has a word for us. As I do almost on a daily basis, well, I ask God what He'd have me to say here on this platform uh, for Testimony Tuesday. And uh, tonight, or today, whenever you're looking at it, uh, we're actually recording it on Wednesday night before the next Tuesday. Um. What came to me is I, I just had this urge to speak about Jesus specifically. Um, I want to be obedient to the Holy Spirit and follow what He'd have me to do. And as I was seeking Him, He was just telling me, Jesus, Jesus. You know, when we begin to speak the name of Jesus, no matter what's going on in our life, just speaking that name will... Well, almost instantly, if you are really speaking it with truth, with passion, with faith, love, it'll begin to lift a weight off your shoulder. It'll begin to give you some peace about whatever is going on in your life. And in the last few days, I've had conversations with uh, some people, and we were talking about end times, and which... Uh, I watched a video just shortly uh, a day or so ago, and it was telling, uh, explaining about in the book of Revelations and other places, it explained what heaven would possibly be like. Um, and so, Brother Chris, why do you say that? Because Jesus is the way to heaven. He's the only way because the Bible tells us that Jesus says that you can only come to the Father through me. And that, my friend, is an open door to get to eternity, to get to that place where there'll be no more sickness, there'll be no more crying. So tears, it says. Um, there'll be just amazing fellowship, amazing to be with Christ, to be with God the Father, to be with those who've gone on before us who we know without a shadow of a doubt are are there with God and, and with the Son. Um, and it's going to be an amazing place. I don't, I'm not going to get into all that tonight because the scripture that just spoke to me is simply when I said I was talking about Jesus, John 14 and 6 says, and he was talking with the disciples at times, it said, Jesus answered. He said to them, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Now that verse says a lot. And you know, here they were asking him, how did they know? How can they be sure about knowing God? And and we, we find ourselves, I, I think, many times in that same place uh, until we really mature in Christ. You know, as, as a young Christian, and I see so many who get saved, they give their heart to Jesus, and, and they find themselves in struggles. Because whenever, whenever you say, God, I'm tired of all this, I believe Jesus, 
I, I believe you died on the cross for me and, and I, I've asked you to forgive me of my sins. You know, that frustrates it. Anger Satan. So he's lost you and now he wants to get you back. So when you get saved, it doesn't mean everything's just going to be better. What it means is that now you have an <laughs> whoo, a source that you can tap into that's like going to a bank that never runs out of money in a sense. And I, He's just God's available in His power. He can do anything. It says all things are possible to God. You read through the Word in several places, you'll find it says nothing. Nothing is impossible. I like to use that sometimes saying, instead of saying, saying that all things are possible. I like to hear that nothing is impossible for God. He can do all things. Um, but let's get into this verse. I don't want to take too long because I know uh, some, some of you are watching this and you don't have a lot of time. But he says, I am the way. The way is, that means when you read John 16, 3, 16, God said, for he so loved the world that he sent his only begotten son, uh, that by him and through him the world would not perish if you believe on him. Um, so it also says that he is the Word. In John 1 and 1 it says the Word was God, the Word was with God, and He was there from the beginning. Um, so He's the way. You've got to go through Jesus. You've got to believe in Jesus. You've got to trust that Jesus died on the cross for your sins. You've got to trust that that blood was shed for your salvation. Um, and it says the truth. The truth here can be so wide uh, whenever you don't plug into Jesus. You, truth is Him. He will begin to build in you and stir in you and build morals. Uh, he'll make you think differently. He'll make you act differently. And that's where we begin to find truth. The things we once thought were okay are not okay anymore. And that begins to build in us character, which brings about truth um, in our lives as we our eyes are open to uh, what we really need to be doing. Um, Let's move on quickly. It says in the life. The life. Uh, well, what does that mean here? It doesn't mean just the life that we're living every day. It means that He is the source of a life that prepares us for eternity, that uh, gives us peace while we're here, uh, that has to do with healing. And healing comes in so many different ways. We have to remember that a life with Christ does not always mean that things are going to be easy. But what it does mean is that He cares and loves for us so much that He'll give us strength to get through. He'll, he'll give us a peace when situations are tough and hard. Uh, we have to remember that He, he wants us to have peace. He, he says it even so. He wants us to have life and have it more abundantly. He said, peace I leave with you. Not the world, the, the type of peace that comes through the world, but only that comes through Him, which is a greater peace, that a peace that surpasses our understanding. Oh, it's amazing. Just living a life for Him is so amazing. And I encourage you, this is what this is about, to encourage you to give your life to Christ if you have it. And if you're struggling now, even as a Christian, whether I, you, you've been serving God for 40 years or serving Him for 40 minutes, you know, it's about just giving yourself to Him, submitting unto Him. And it's hard, but it, nothing hard is going to be easy. And nothing easy is going to be worth what it brings. Along with that, I'd just like to add, uh, as we continue to read the verse, he says, No one comes to the Father except through Him. That is a mandate. That is truth. There's no other way. I want you to tr just just take that to heart today. Only by and through Jesus Christ will you make it to an eternal heavenly home. That's the only way. That's the only way. I urge you today, if you're struggling, think about Jesus. Pick up the Bible. Just simply quote John 3.16. Just simply move in a step in a direction that brings you closer to Him. Because if you take that one step 
I, I've said so many times, I believe He'll take three steps towards you. I really do. I hope you can see the passion in my face tonight. I just I just want you to come to know Jesus personally if you don't. If you do, I just want you to grow in Him and, and become stronger in Him and build a deeper relationship with Him. And trust me again, I remind you, it is hard, but it's so good. It's so worth it. And I believe that we'll be with each other in eternity if we'll keep pressing forward. We'll keep moving moving forward, keep running forward, keep walking forward, whatever it takes, just move forward in Him and draw closer to Him. I love you. Uh, we at Shiloh as a body, we love you. And we'd like to invite you. I'd like to invite you to come if you get a chance and be with us. And again, I remind you, this video is not, not about trying to get people into the building here. Although we'd love to have you that is not the sole purpose for this. The sole purpose of this is to reach out to you, to be a light for Jesus and to let that light shine for Jesus. You know, you might not never step foot in this building. I may never meet you personally, but this video today, I pray, I, I pray it will have touched you in some way and helped you uh, in your walk with Christ or to maybe even lead you to Christ. And I encourage you, if this video helps you, leave a leave a quick message. And I'd also like to encourage you, if it, if you've enjoyed it and think it could help somebody else, like it, share it. Um, we're trying to get it out. We want people to come to know Jesus personally. That's, that's what we do here at Shiloh. We're looking for one more. So 2271 Autry Mill Road. If you get a chance, come out and be with us. It's in the Godwin community uh, uh, off of Spivey's Quarter. Um, close to Falcon, if you know the area. Um, if not, just search up 2271 Autry Mill Road, and uh, it'll bring it up if you search around the Godwin Clement community area. Um, again, I encourage you, if you can, come be with us. If not, we love you anyway. We're praying for you. And uh, again, I just want to say thank you for taking the time to view. God bless you.